we all need to focus on be it virtual or be it a physical way we are meeting the fellow students or the fellow learners that way now this is teaching so we are starting with the teaching thing and uh, my call my words for these two days under the guidance of the mentors uh, professor srinivas and everyone we are talking to the teachers and we are talking to the teachers who never stop learning so every teacher you never stop learning so this is for you this two days uh, program on virtual teaching we'll be working on numerous things we'll be working on simple things the survey that you people have shared with me uh, on through that google form says that uh, we have got faculty from science background computer science mathematics mechanical engineering even vlsi is there and um, 50% of you have used some website some blog some content management system some learning management system but most of you taking it a 80% thing have not been exposed or have not been using moodle i won't say that you have not been aware that will be a wrong term for teachers we teachers are aware of many things but for some reasons we don't use them for some limitations don't allow us certain times so to like start with this is how i look like uh now these are this is the email id which is already there with you i have got a website a blog you can say on linkedin and twitter i am so these are not the bold things not that important the importance is here now if you people have queries you will be posting them in the chat in google meet the hangouts meet application that you have now there are some people there are some people like i i don't hear any disturbance any noise from anyone but uh, there are some messages in the whatsapp group but i would say that just bear with us we'll be starting in 5 minutes so everything will be on track now we are starting at 9:45 we'll be there in this session till 11:30 and after that we all will be having a short refreshment break or a rest at home rather we can say it a tea break or a water break or the way you want to treat it and we'll be back on time at 11:45 now the very first thing i will be talking with you is understanding learning management system now and when it is about understanding learning management uh, system when it is about learning management system please see one thing that we are talking about a system which allows us to do two things the first thing is collaboration and the second thing is construction or we can call it constructivism now constructors being constructive being creative being curative is something which is the primary feature of a teacher now when we are talking about being collaborative that means that we join our students we join everyone in one loop everyone is working together we are facilitating them to work on something they are giving us their assignments and we are evaluating them so these things happen so when we are talking about learning management system we'll be getting a brief uh, understanding of what learning management systems are fortunately we have got more people from computer background as well those who know programming or have been exposed to it most of you have used learning management systems so it will help me cut short the time in explaining learning management systems i have uh, tried to in a way cut short the presentation also after getting the survey we'll be talking about which platform that is there for these two days then we'll move on what is special about the platform to which we will be introduced today and then some moodle basics will be shared the platform basics will be shared after doing this thing till 11:30 i shall try to introduce you to creating a new course in this platform adding and managing some contents and uh, already you people had been informed that you should be having uh, a one week agenda in your mind you can take one topic and then you will be making one objective you'll be keeping uh, some notes ready in a particular folder tomorrow we'll need those things so today you can do all that preparation also now we'll be working on how to manage the participants how to add the participants or the students in a particular course and creating a class managing a class 
giving them grades and all these things will be done we'll also be learning this fourth point which is effective content practices now when we talk about swayam or we talk about arpit courses that you people have heard of you may be asked to make online courses you may want to make online courses or moocs so in arpit or even in swayam the quadrants are four the text is there the video is there the assessment is there the notes is there presentations are there visuals are there so we'll be working on some tools will be shared with you about creating good contents we'll be talking about video editing we'll be talking about audio editing and these things will be there i request everyone to kindly use their earphones so that you get the audio very clear and if there are certain observations with you you can keep on dropping them in the whatsapp group also uh, now this is the agenda for the day and if you allow me i can move on to the next slide and before that what i'll be doing i'll be switching off my video so that it consumes less of bandwidth and internet that way and it also becomes easy for you to see things in a clear manner so these are the things we'll be working on understanding what lms is why a particular lms is being shared with you today what is special about it and what are the basics of it these three things will be happening in the next 20 minutes and after that we'll be working on how to create a new course and before that i'll be taking your queries via chat only you will be typing your queries in the chat box and i'll be replying back now the presentation which is there with you will move ahead a reminder to everyone keep the mic and the video also like it will it will allow us to have more speed uh ma'am i'm audible i feel everything is going fine yes, fine ma'am so yes, uh, so here we start like with the prayers for the well being of everyone we are going to start with this thing and i believe that we'll be able to do things in a good manner now when we are talking about virtual teaching please keep a note of it that we are talking about teaching and when we are talking about teaching we are reminded of two things the first thing is bloom's taxonomy and and please note this thing that there is no first that way the mention comes to us so the first thing that i can mention is the bloom's ped bloom's uh, you say taxonomy and then it relates to pedagogy now when i talk about pedagogy that relates to instruction and when i talk about instruction instruction relates to certain guidelines certain rules a discipline which is given to everyone and everyone follows it but then we move on to the modern world where if you have internet your students have so if you have a mobile phone they have uh, double the number of uh, the, the mobile phones you have if you have internet they have internet if you have facebook they have got more than facebook with them so our students have moved beyond us in the use of technology there's a very good saying that we people are you and i we people who have moved on from black and white tv to color tv those who have moved on from the landline phones to the smartphones we are the generation who have moved from bicycle to the bikes so we are digital immigrants and the current generation in your classroom in my classroom is actually digital natives so these natives they treat everything in one way <clears throat> virtual or physical the difference is that in the physical one we are actually the masters we can do much more than that and there is one thing that i wish to share with everyone there is a, when you people have joined the session if there was any option of connecting it through the audio please use it connecting the device audio or something is there when we are talking about it one disclaimer that used to be told to all of us by the teachers who trained us we used to hear this again and again that technology will not replace teachers but teachers who use technology will replace the teachers who do not use technology 
but with the with the the times we have understood that a teacher can never be replaced you people are the actual givers or the sources of learning to the classroom and you people will remain so understanding virtual teaching understanding technology using technology will only empower you the same way a blackboard a green board a chalkboard a white board a projector an overhead projector a board marker everything that you people have used as a tool that thing will help you to enhance your capability technology is just that thing all these things which are being taught to you are not the owners of your capability the capability remains with you now this is the agenda and we move on to the like session 2 will be working on designing a one week online course so in the tea break you can decide two topics of your choice small topics to be true rather than taking complete units computer people or everyone you can take just a sample example of some topic one objective of that topic and one outcome that you expect the students to possess agenda 3 will be working on after lunch we'll be working on creating a new course and before that we have got a few things to be done and this is these are the things about moodle now before i introduce you to something i wish to sell it to you now if we people are going to talk about moodle and what moodle is we'll talk later but in this age of marketing in this age of selling i want to tell you that there are 159000 sites being made on this moodle thing but then what exactly it is if it has got 159000 sites there are these many millions courses these are these many forum posts being made and the data was yesterday evening there are these many resources being shared there are these many users there are these many enrollments in the courses and these are there are these many quiz questions being created on moodle and there are only or to say not only 238 countries in the world that have the use of moodle now this is what i wish to sell to you and when i'm talking about moodle you people have said it in the survey that most of you 50% of you have used one or the other content management system or a website or a blog or an lms learning management system now this list that you can see of 42 lmss learning management systems i have taken from urkund like you have heard of turnitin and urkund urkund is the one which is given by the suggested by the ugc and we have been using it to plague check checking the originality or the similarity in our research these 42 are the selected lmss which have been selected by urkund on their website uh, ma'am presentation is visible Yeah, please go ahead. Just it's clear. Okay, sir. Because some people just said that presentation yeah, is. No, it is very clear. It's very clear. Fine, I, sir. I'll done, sir. Done, sir. If there is something, sir, you will be in just letting me know, yeah, and sir, I'll. I'll be done, sir. Now. Uh, Ma'am, now. Uh, no, sir. No. Just a second. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll reconnect it. Okay. Uh, I'll do it, ma'am. I have stopped. Uh, now I have removed it. Now I am sharing it. Now let me know if the presentation is has come back. Yes, sir. Fine, ma'am. So we are talking about learning management systems. This is just a list. If you people do a search on Google, you will find that Google provides you twenty best. 15 best 10 best lmss but this is a list given by urkund and when i'm saying this thing that this is a list on urkund i also wish to highlight that urkund can be integrated of course the user id will be yours the account has to be there with you but this learning management system that we are going to talk about which is here this is just a list so this 23 doesn't decide the rank but in the world most of the world is using moodle that we can check on the stats also 
Moodle allows you an integration of Urkund. You can use this thing. This is one of the features and this might be a very important thing for of us at the onset if we know that if we use this LMS, we'll be able to flag check the reports also. Now, the next thing that I wish to bring to your focus is here. Now, what is Moodle? Now, Moodle is, as I shared with you, we all know that being constructive and being collaborative. These are the two features of education. Being constructive means you can curate, you can make other people work with you. That goes to collaboration. But when everyone contributes something, everyone enhances the richness of the resources and knowledge and learning. That is a construction that we make and that can be seen in concrete ways. But then we move on to collaborative. Collaborative is actually a 21st century skill also when we list them communication, collaboration, creativity, critical thinking. So these are the four 21st century skills which are required to be there in everyone, we, whosoever is teaching or learning. Being creative is there in us. We just need a freedom and a, and, and a mind to work on it. Critical thinking is our problem solving. Communication we all do and being collaborative or collaboration is the fourth and one of the most important skills when we go to the classroom. So constructive and collaborative resources Moodle. We are talking about the functions of Moodle and we can also talk about who can use this Moodle. So I'll briefly sum up this thing so that we can move on to work on uh, the practical aspects. The functions of Moodle are Ease. Pedagogy can be there, like uh, uh, I'll bring you the functions now. The functions are you can use it in content management. You can send contents to, to students. You can integrate different resources here so that if video is there, audio is there, presentations are there, all the things can be can be used through Moodle. Assessment, be it objective or subjective, graded or not graded, can be done on Moodle. Now, functions of Moodle. Moodle can be, Moodle is an open source, everyone. Open source means it's a free platform. You can call it a free software as we download so many things from Google Play Store. So it is an open source. It is being made by people by collaborating together. Nobody charges money for this thing. It is an open source. You can say it is a bundle of softwares. It is a bundle of different uh, applications placed together. And first, those who know computers, they will understand what hosting is. We either install it on our own servers or we install it on some free cloud platforms like Moodle Cloud or the one that we'll be using today, Genomio. Now we use it and it becomes a full-fledged website for us. Now, what is the function of a website if it is an interactive one, like Facebook? On Facebook, or be it LinkedIn, what we do, we interact, we share our resources, and we'll, we allow others to participate. These three things, they happen on Facebook also because that's a social media platform. But when it comes to education, we also need a platform which can allow us to assess our students or learners, anyone. So Moodle, does that function of creating the content like you can design the content you can develop the content you can deliver the content and after that you can assess the content also submitted by others so these are the functions it is not just being used in education it is used in any other field which is there because it is more about managing learning so you are a faculty or you are a professional still you can offer learning to others now who can use this thing the simple question is anyone who wants to use it can use it. And when it is about willingness or it is about your wish, you can learn it and then you can use it. Now, what are the limitations? Limitations is to be true none. Because this particular thing, this LMS is powered by people who are not there to make some profit. Generally, we call it a collaborative thing. So I'll develop a particular application. I'll dedicate it to Moodle and I'll customize it for the Moodle users and they people will integrate it. For example, you want to take attendance. So faculty from one side has made an attendance plugin which can be inserted in it. If we have heard of WordPress or Joomla, 
these are the content management systems so generally we have to buy the plugins all those plugins like if you see facebook there is a photo one there is a video one and all these features if you want to develop something like that you have to buy them the same way we buy spare parts of something but the plugins are free for moodle the resources will be shared with you also and it's for education so anything which is there for learning you know you have heard of oers also open educational resources so this on the same way on the same vision in the same development goals for the world moodle is created as an open source and the limitations are always there when it's a business but when it is about serving others and but collaborating them, with them not just serving and gifting it for free they expect us to use it and make it rich now this is the acronym for moodle which will allow you to understand what exactly uh, is the focus of this two days program now moodle is like some sometimes when you'll type it and your mobile phone is not habitual of typing it it will turn it to auto correction with a noodle thing so but it is moodle now moodle is a modular object oriented it is an object oriented one it is oriented so it is a focused one and it is oriented on something which is an object a concrete thing a solid thing a prepared one a thing which can be seen a thing which is on a document and which is dynamic learning environment a learning environment which is focused which is flexible with focus and which is aimed at learning so moodle is defined as modular object oriented dynamic learning environment the moment i say the word dynamic i feel that everything about the features or the functions it becomes clear to you that it is dynamic now a very important thing pedagogy as i mentioned blooms pedagogy or blooms taxonomy for pedagogy now moodle contains what if you have heard of google suite for education in the google suite what we have is we have got gmail we have got google slides and docs and all those things that we use a complete bundle of tools is given to us the same way moodle is also a suite of tools and this tool what we do we teachers we do the creation of certain activities which are aimed at learning and we also add resources to it another thing that we do through moodle is we make a sequence an organized imparting of learning there is an organized giving of learning so these things are there we give them as a sequence the same way we have got an academic calendar in the institution the same way moodle gives you the sequence the order there are pathways of promoting people also and what we do is we promote through moodle we create learning activities we create resources we integrate them we bring them together everything is in a sequence and then we move on to being collaborative and creating active learning experiences your classroom is an active learning place where you speak and they listen and they respond and you you observe and you comment and then they they ask you questions and you clarify things that interaction is the most loving thing about life which happens in the classroom so how we can create that thing in an atmosphere which is virtual so if we are shifting teaching to a virtual mode which is this post covid also we feel that there will be a rise in the demand for online classes because the world might stay afraid or in the nightmarish after maths of covid so we might need to stay connected with the learners we cannot abandon them we cannot leave them we cannot throw them away from our life so active learning experiences are possible now suppose i want you people to eat something which is sweet but it's liquid you need a spoon you need a straw suppose i want you people to eat something solid uh, you need something which can hold it okay. the same way the same way we need to create active learning experiences and these active learning experiences will happen only when you have got certain tools so when i say tools that means the plugins you want to make your class active there should be an attendance register you want to make your class active there should be a screen on which you can share your notes you want to make your class active there should be some quiz that you can play you want to make your class active there should be a chat box like you can ask them they can answer you you want to make your class active 
you need a forum a discussion forum where you make it open for everyone to speak so if you people have understood this thing what moodle is then we can like move on uh, now it's being dynamic now dynamic learning environment so we are moving on with this dynamism feeling towards it now why do we use moodle uh if i'll i'll just see the chat if there are certain queries being posted by you meanwhile like we'll also check out the each sessions presentations will be there uh, do now you don't need to present anything but you will be getting a chance to present now there are no technical queries that way yes ma'am yes ma'am hello hmm Uh, yes ma'am yes ma'am no problem now the thing is why do we use moodle uh, the presentation is visible i'm sure ma'am because i have resumed it yes sir yes ma'am uh, everyone now there are two things to be shared with you before we move on at present we all are with our families and we all are at home so don't be uneasy about anything but we are just required to be alert with the technology and uh, the technology snags the bugs or any other issue might even fail me so it can fail you also like some people say ppt is not visible but to some people it is visible so kindly bear with us with this thing there might be some connection issue on your side you can reconnect that way and the tlc team can also help you through the whatsapp group now why do we use moodle we use moodle to relate to this thing we use moodle because it's a suite of tools which help us in creating learning activities also help us curating resources also help us in creating a sequential learning like a module wise learning a planned learning which is there according to a plan it also allows us to create collaborations with the students and among them or and with us also it creates a virtual active learning experience so this is why we use moodle why should you use moodle because you people are away from the classroom point 1 point 2 because you people are away from the classroom that is the truth the second thing is because the students are away from the classrooms the third thing is we don't know when we will be able to resume the syllabus or the new ugc calendar comes and says that we we are supposed to complete the syllabus within no time or we have they assume that we have already done it because certain guidelines were also there so why you should be using it because you are a teacher and a teacher is the one who keeps on learning so this is something which is happening in the world and this is something which should be known to us it is free of cost it is made by people who are teachers and they want teachers to use it it is it does not belong to a company you can customize it according to you there is thing which will be a very nice understanding for everyone who is into computers it sir it is an open source mem those who are into computers you can simply take the bundle of this thing and install it on a server which is there with you on your university's server or anywhere and then you can customize it you can bring themes in it you can do the reprogramming of certain things then it becomes a complete thing of your own that way you cannot take google classroom from them you cannot take edmodo you cannot take canvas or blackboard something those are being sold and millions of rupees are being spent on it but moodle is something which is a one shot solution to these things and why we all use moodle is why we i and you will be using moodle because we want to impart learning we want to keep on learning now the flexibility in moodle what is good in moodle there are plugins that you can use plugins means certain additional applications because when you take the basic moodle thing 
when you click on basic moodle thing everyone basic moodle like the the one that will be making today genomio or we host it on moodle cloud you will see that there are certain plugins already there and if you want more plugins and you are hosting it on your server these plugins will come to you you want to take attendance which is not basically there in the first moodle will design you bring the plugin you want to have a live session with them live chat you'll bring another plugin you want uh, to check their submissions for originality or plag plag check so you'll bring uh, urkund that way you bring so many plugins which are beautiful which are interactive which are loved by the users now the first one is the plugins second you can host a 50 user maximum 50 user mooc or you can make an account and make your own uh, you can I, i'll call it a website for you at present you can make your own website or a portal on moodlecloud.com free of cost you only need to use their cloud server and maximum 50 users and 200 mb is allowed to you you can use genomio which allows you to go beyond uh, 200 goes to 250 it is an open source and there are constant updates at present we are using 3.8.2 that is the latest one these are the versions you people must be understanding these things and in june they are coming up with 3.9 and then the 4 will come next year and then because these updates means they bring it to the utility levels of the modern age now there are two more ease features that i have personally faced used easy interfaces are there because you can customize it so the interface is quite easy the second thing is the installations are lightweight what can be the size of an uh, of a plugin that you can expect it is 1 mb and what is 1 mb 1 mb is for hot potatoes like all the quizzes and all those things can be created and the plugin is 1 mb means a very lightweight one you want to make attendance uh, thing then you use it there are browsers we call them safe exam browsers there are browsers which can be installed and you can take examinations also those are bit advanced things that you might learn in the next stages of your learning so those things can be learned later we are moving on at present to understand what is the use of model and how do we use it so these are certain things which will be shared with you later we are moving on to designing something so I'm closing the presentation, coming to something that we will be moving on to make. Uh, before this, if you people have got some query or some clarification required, you can kindly post it in the chat box. This is about your understanding. If you people like someone has got a very significant question that way. So I request you to do ask that thing. If there is some something, some question which is bothering you and you feel that you should ask it. Uh, Ma'am, if there is anything that you feel I have missed and which should be mentioned. Uh, Zoom is a video conferencing one, sir. Urkund is a plagiarism check, like turn it in. We check the originality of uh, research projects, like what is the similarity. If I have copied something from somewhere, it will come to me. I'll submit it to Urkund or turn it in, and they will tell me. The PPT has been stopped. There is no presentation here. 50 user Moodle Cloud gives you a free thing. On Moodle Cloud, when you host, it gives you only 50 user thing. Beyond then, you have to pay to MoodleCloud.com. But if you install it, because we people, all of us are working in uh, universities and colleges, and all universities and colleges have got their own websites also. So we can take the bundle of Moodle and install it on the server. So after that, it's your world. The same way, what you want to do in the university, you do the same way you'll do it. Uh, biological practicals. Now, as I told you, a teacher cannot be replaced so this is to create 
a virtual one there are certain virtual laboratories uh, we'll share the link with you in the evening through the whatsapp group also iit delhi and these people have created virtual labs so those virtual labs can be used by children we can share the link but at present the same way biological uh, you say biochemistry or these experiments cannot be done even in the absence of a teacher so the machine will not be monitoring it uh, google forms they are only used to collect uh, material but moodle is a complete home it's a complete multi specialty hospital everyone moodle is you can use almost everything but still there are you say multi specialty hospital is there but aims is aims programming language if you know it will help you to customize certain things i don't know programming my brother knows it so if i give the bundle of it and we host it on our own server he can customize certain things for me so google forms is only for data collection you can create only a quiz or a form to collect the data but moodle is in which you can quiz or a form is just one single part of it you can use it as a personal tool upper limit of number of courses if it is on your server as many as you want to in the free ones moodle cloud and genomio will be getting to know because when we'll make an account there is no presentation to be shown at present uh, live class is possible like google classroom yes but please remember there is one thing very clear about google classroom it is google meet which makes a live class possible which is a part of the g suite in the g suite google classroom is one tool uh, there is no duration there is no problem our our session is till 11:30 live class is possible there is a plugin called big blue button uh upper limit of courses is there 200 courses can be there now we session duration there's no problem i guess i have answered it online live classes yes online live classes are possible but there are certain plugins like certain times we only program it we'll say that a particular a particular thing will be visible to them at this particular time today this lesson will open this assignment will open today another assignment will open tomorrow uh now if you there are some people who have said yes they people have done certain moocs if you have ever done online courses from anywhere be it swayam or edx or coursera or future learn or anywhere you will see it is almost the same way you conduct a on, conduct an online course it is almost the same way i'll say the same way not even the almost one there is a desktop uh, al version also you can install it but internet has to be there one file on your server the limits can be extended on moodle cloud it is only one mb file now please remember one thing when moodle cloud is giving us the permission within 14 days it sends you a reminder that you hosted something on our server and that is free for you but you are not using it we are going to delete it within a week so that way they people keep on doing it big blue will show tomorrow the upload size we'll see when we people are the ppt is not being shown uh sir the all the presentations will come to you now yeah security is there because it is on your server if uh, your website is safe your college website is safe it is also safe when you are going to use moodle cloud or genomio the same dangers which are there even for the website of government of india the same danger are there for you and me also when we are hosting something on internet yes good someone has shared the vlab amrita amrita university has come up with very good things there is there is a online class software from their side avu also the virtual labs are there government of india has given these tasks to people uh i am a faculty of english literature and communication skills and i'm taking your sessions today on moodle so i guess the computer level learning can be assessed from this way it's it's a these are the things which are already made so not a problem video content yes we can do all the magics we can drag and drop exercises because all the plugins are there video plugins are, are there video plugins are there audios are there there are so many things
file limit is there yes and it has to be there like there are certain limitations please remember we are in a world which is limited we have understood this thing these these things have got a limitation they cannot replace you but they can make your presence more meaningful more empowered so using moodle will make it possible for you to offer a course people can know you beyond your district your institution also if you have got something see there is a possibility that you people have got the knowledge of a subject which is yet to be introduced in by the university or the college there is one particular aspect that your students are asking you can offer it as a as a course and it can get approval from the college and then you can give them online certifications also as you people know the cbcs the flexible credit system is going to come so these are the copyright problems uh, will come uh, rao sir only when you are using the contents which are copyrighted by others and they don't allow the use of it we have got uh, a session today after tea in which we'll be talking about how to decide whether to use the copyright or not we'll be using open source uh, software and open education resources also so these things can be there uh, we can uh, objective type we can uh, make a quiz and it will uh, evaluate it automatically subjective assignments can be asked they will give you subjective assignments and uh, you will assess them you will check the assignments and you will give them marks now i guess you people will allow me to if there is any other query that i have missed in the chat on the top uh, the software is free moodle.org exact dr mishra you are right the software you can download and then you can like those are the things into programming but at present today because those who already know about moodle i request them to be on my side to help others and those who are very new to moodle they will be introduced to the fundamentals of using a moodle and uh, i will not be moving to the advance of it because if we jump on to advance we'll not be able to check whether you have got to the basics of it now so here i'm going to share my screen again there's one more message okay you're feeling fine now i'm glad we are left with a one hour thing i request everyone to switch off their video and audio so that you don't uh, consume much of your internet you can save your internet and we all need to save it because we whole world is using it the powerpoint presentation will be revised according to your queries and then i will share it with you now i'm going to share with you my google chrome i guess you people can see uh do you people want to see a created course first i'll show you a, a course that i have created that way now this is on the server this is the course uh ma'am can you see this there's a lifelong learning thing yes, yes ma'am i'm demonstrating the final you say product and after that we'll move on to the sessions agenda of introducing them to create a course now i'm sharing with you everyone i'm sharing with you a massive open online course we call it a online course or a mooc which is created on uh, moodle cloud moodle cloud gives you the storage capacity as you can i can click here you see 50 users were permitted i am done with 50 users 200 mb was there i have already used 39 because my subject doesn't require much of it audios are there certain applications have been placed and all these things are there now i have i'm switching my role to student what is there at the end of the student now if you see this is the interface of a student which is there in front of you now this is the course employability enhancement that i have created 
there are two resource persons one is uh, dr ramesh kumar sharma and the second is me in that way employability is this 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 is introduction and this is second course which is there i'm going into the course and if you see here where you can see a small icon of the photograph the account is a student account at present so announcement and discussion is being uh, created shout out for the job seekers and there is an interaction or a chat the chat opens at 10 this is what the setting was the first unit is career choice analysis everyone the second unit i have done taken is resume making an impressive profile now these are the things i have added to it a sample format a download a practice about resume prepare your resume and submit this icon says this is an assignment i have given them a glossary uh, people who are into sciences and computers or every subject that way a glossary is possible group discussion skills is another module and see restricted it will open on 21st for them and it will open on 20th it opened on 19th so every unit can be timed the same way we sort that like if you go on tuesday and teach a topic only then it is taught the same way if you want a topic to be shared with them on tuesday it opens on tuesday only interview questions another module three things then description of two sharings that i have done two videos these are two video links to youtube some interview questions and their possible answers this is an assignment it's a forum assessment resume gd and mock interview so these this these two are assessments another one is a learning feedback so these are the things if i click here you will see there will be a quiz attempt the quiz now attempts allowed to and grading method highest grade there is a possibility if i want to make it one i can if i want to make it unlimited i can attempt to the quiz now i'm going to the quiz and I'm showing you the end. Now, this is the quiz. A few people were asking me about this. See, there is no use of learning a resume writing. I'll say false. I click here. And now see, this is about a dash is the document. A resume is the document. Why would I fail myself that way? Present your candidature to the employer. Now, this is another way. And all this is happening in Moodle. A group is these are the clicks next page questions and this is how a course has got its evaluation there are some messages from the students also if you want to see this is a three-dimensional course in employability enhancement and this is a student account that you are saying student can see how many people are enrolled so I'll show you the limit was 50 and these are the people who are done with it like I don't have more space. So these are the 50 people who are doing it. And it's a one week course. There are 47 users and three admins. So only 50. So that is why we are moving to Genomeo today, which is a free one. So these are the chats done by people. I'm moving to Genomeo now, virtual learning. Now, now please see, this is a course. Uh, before this, if there is any query which you have, you can let me know. I've shown you a Moodle course and I've shown it in a random way. I've not tried to like uh, teach you anything here, but you can see these are the modules. One, two, three, four. Assessment is there. If there is something like if you people are convinced, I'm glad and we can move on to learn the, the quiz thing. now um this is virtual learning no i'm going to genomeo first genomeo g n o m i o genomeo this is the form that you people had made 125 responses are there and see have you ever used any learning management system online class management 70 responses say yes but the the question I would say, which is more crucial is, have you ever used Moodle before today? I've got 100 responses which say no. And these 25 who say yes, I request you all to be in my team. And uh, if someone is posting something in the comments or someone is posting in the WhatsApp group also, you people can respond to them, resolve their queries. Please remember, there is no alternative or is nothing best or better than peer learning or collaborative learning. So I'm following this form, keeping in mind that I need to walk in a very basic manner. 
So what I'm doing at present is I'm going to genomio.com, G-N-O-M-I-O, -O, and I'm going to genomio. This is what is the home page, if you all can see. There's a URL word, there is an email word, there is a language word. Now, this is what is there. Now, when I'm talking about this thing, and I'm, I'm just coming back to a reminder for all of us, that these are the two things we have worked. We have worked on understanding learning management system. We have worked on what makes this thing Moodle special. And the Moodle basics are underway. So when I'm talking about the Moodle basics, I can sh demonstrate certain features of Moodle, which is going to be used by you. And then we'll move on to creating a new course, adding and managing content and managing some course that you make it managing the participants. So following the agenda that should be there with all of us. I can. Now, can I move on to like demonstrate how to make a course? Fine, man. So what I'm doing is I am sharing with you all the agenda as a reminder so that neither you nor I, we, we don't have in mobile view, the PPT is not full screen. Kindly keep the landscape mode of the mobile phone. We'll be working on the student mob login, faculty login. Don't worry about anything. I will not move ahead without ensuring that you have understood what is being said in the previous minute. Before starting the session after tea, we'll be clarifying all the doubts of the things we have done in this segment. Now, I am presenting to you the Genomio thing. Now, creating a course, creating a course from your side, from my side, if you can see that this is the thing which are there like employability enhancement is the course so if this course is there what did i do first when i was there to offer a course and i was thinking that i should offer one course to my students because this particular thing is not there as a subject the very first thing was i decided what is my objective my objective was to impart them a skill in making resume which is a profile or a CV, curriculum feature, understanding what group discussions are, because most of us are teaching at professional institutions. So GD remains an integral part of assessing the capability of interactions, justifying critical thinking, problem solving. So I thought that these three things should be imparted to them and they should be attentive to it. But how to do that? Because the classroom teaching did not allow me to spend much time on it, though I did. But then there were other people who did not have it in their syllabus, but they deserve to learn it. <clears throat> so the objective was to give them an understanding of these three dimensions of employability for people who are studying to get jobs or even starting their own business. Even then you will be interviewed by people who are going to give you bank loans or give you approvals. Now, the very first was the objective and after that I decided, thought of the, the things which should be imparted to them. So these three topics, then I decided what mode. So I thought that video might be possible for me, but not now. So I decided I won't be making my own videos. I'll be using the videos made by others which are there on YouTube. I'll simply share the link. Sharing a link does not qualify for copyright, point one. Point two, even if I'm embedding them, Embedding is when you see the video in the window itself, because when you watch news, you can see that there are certain videos that you can play without going to YouTube. We call it embedding. And that is for non-computer people understanding that I can share. Now that embedding is allowed in YouTube. If the YouTube users do not allow you to embed, you cannot embed. So if they have allowed it, it means they have given you the right to embed it or share a link. Downloading it and using it to make money is of course wrong you can read more about uh, cc the creative Commons attribution licenses also we'll also be working on that i'll share those details with you 
that how you can make these courses and uh, there is one request to every teacher and the request means it's a reinforcement of our own belief being indians being in this part of the world or be it any part of the world we need to serve humanity through education so whatever you create and if it goes to public domain other people can learn from it that is the best you can do being a teacher so the copyright thing should be applied when there is something which deserves a credit and which is something which is exclusive to you and you want it to be possessed by you because you are afraid that the other people will not be able to make a good use of it but when you are sharing something general make it general for everyone now this is the course everyone and these are the outcomes of something which we are going to do on genomio these are the modules i have created this is employability enhancement title these are announcement these are three things these three plugins i have used i said one forum one page this is a page page means this is just an article and this is an interaction this is a chat application i said module starts from here a page a page and a page i posted i pasted some content here after uh, like uh, typing something these are three articles this is a discussion forum about uh, swot and career planning if you see swot is strength weakness opportunity and threat so it's a discussion forum where student can say something they can start uh, if you have heard of cora that uh, you start a discussion and then other people also like uh, do their inputs this is a web link and you click on it and the web link opens now another module has got resume writing text text this is the glossary now let me open the glossary and i am opening for you it as a student and you will appreciate and like it and now see you want me to go to something what are what is career objective i'll type career here and it will show me the thing which is with career fine what are i n t e r e s t interests because in resume interest is something which is crucial so when i search it it lends me to the description of interests or i can click here with all this glossary can be created this is generally the second last part in the books that we get the good books that you people write in those books we see that there is a glossary before the index after the annexures or some additional pages added so glossary has been added i'll get back now these are the things that uh, you will be able to do a glossary can be added you can add a download button i have added a file it's a microsoft word document for resume i have given them an assignment now see there is a hand bringing something to me so it's a prepare your resume and submit so this is there they can prepare the resume and submit you can see now some people were asking me you now see everyone it's not hidden from students there are 45 participants in the course there are there is one draft being submitted not submitted yet and needs grading so if i click here we all submissions are grade let me click on grade straight away because if you know the benefits probably you people will be more eager to understand it now alia anwar is a student who has not submitted anything the moment she will submit i'll have the submission here i can zoom in i it's not graded i can grade out of 10 because initially i had placed it's a 10 marks one i can give feedback comments and i can share those things with them save and exit save and next i can click here to notify the student that you have been graded now this is a grading one and this is the one which happens when the when the teacher is doing it as a subjective one the objective one happens by default the scores come to you automatically i click on grades you'll see the grades of every student you can export that as an excel sheet moodle is used successfully throughout the world so it is not something new to be shared with you now these are the people students what are the assignments if you remember prepare your resume was there audio record your group discussion will be there in the next unit assessment quiz 1 and subjective assessment if you remember now these are the four things and 20 marks have been kept like this is for 55 marks 
I'll demonstrate. This is for 25 marks. This is for 10 marks audio record and this is for 10 marks. So it will make 101, but no one has submitted yet. So I'm not grading. I can export it. I can import a grade book also. You can create your own CSV file, Microsoft Excel file, and then you can bring it. There are certain formats that we will be learning. You can bring the grades XML files or something. You can paste from a spreadsheet. So you create a grade with you and you bring it to the Moodle and then it is being shown. Please remember it is a portal. It is a website that you are managing. And I being from uh, background of uh, teaching a social science subject, if I can do it, you people are quite better than me in this particular thing. So just don't worry about it. Now, if there is any query, anything that you people want to ask, if you say that, is it there in this, I can give you a reply. If you say that you want to know that, is it there in this, I can give you a reply. Is it there? I can give you a reply. There is grading. Uh, sir, Google Classroom and Moodle are completely not same, not different, but Classroom is dependent on g suite i have used google classroom for a couple of years and that is an lms which requires an installation which which is allowed to educational institutions only that is one thing second one is you have to bring in everything in google classroom a youtube link you have to bring links only but in moodle you can upload things it is your own website please remember you do deserve a portal of yours it is your own website google classroom is something which is made by google certificate copy yes sir there are plugins you install them uh, dr shrinivasan rao there are plugins you install them and they create certificates login id to be created we'll know restriction of 2 mb size on moodle cloud is there because of course they are giving us uh, this thing for free and the world is using lecture videos are then, then we can embed them or we can paste their link you can upload them on youtube keep them unlisted keeping youtube videos unlisted means those who have link only they can view keeping them public means everybody can view so you can and please remember even the swim videos they are being kept on youtube and the links are embedded or uh, links are pasted in the swim portal so that way you don't use your own you say storage cloud storage you use the storage of those who are giving it for free uh, copyrights uh, we will talk a moodle course when you create a moodle course you can say that it is a copyrighted one or you can say that it is a free one it is your wish aapki marzi your wish It's up to you. The same way you say that it is my paper and you cannot do it. So the same way you can put copyrights here also. Now, another query is restriction of 200 is there, sir. It is a Moodle cloud. In Genomio, the restriction goes up. But Genomio is something which gives you certain advertisements on the top. So, But still, we can bear with those advertisements if we want to. We can manage all activities of the class. Uh, yes, attendance, notes, assignments, everything is there, uh, Dr. Abdul. But please remember, the disclaimer is a teacher cannot be replaced. Actual learning happens in the class. But if you are capable, you have got a very nice creation on Moodle. It is identical. It is virtual. You know, God is virtual that way. Like we haven't seen them, but we believe in them. If you can make your students believe in the content, it is sequential, it is organized, it is... Uh, considerably you say well made so they believe it uh, student attendance there are applications or there are plugins which are pasted here in the advanced level we can show these things to them but don't worry student attendance applications are inserted here students mark their attendance it comes to you how to begin dr ag matthew we are going to start how to make a course before that, we I just uh, how to start Moodle or launch. Yes, we are going to start from zero scratch. We can register our college Moodle portal. You can download the software. 
Dr. Vijay Kumar, you can talk to the computer department or the administration who manages the co college software, you say website, web portal. You can ask them if they can install Moodle for you. I will demonstrate three things to you. Genomio, which is the one that we all resource persons have decided, will train you to work on Genomio. It is identical to Moodle Cloud. I will show you how I have made the same employability enhancement course on my own server, my own website, where you will see I can change the theme also. Uh, Dr. Vijay Kumar, keep this question with you. I'll show you how like the college portal will look like, but it is easy on the Moodle college portal can be created. Moodle account will start in a minute. Uh, if you are making an account on Moodle Cloud, then and you don't use it, it means you are occupying some space on them. If 14 days have passed and you do not log in into MoodleCloud.com, they send you a warning message that you made a course or you made an account, but you are not using it. So we are going to delete it. That is just that thing. This is for uh, Dr. Guru Murthy. I'll show you some completed course, which includes evaluated assignments. The evaluated assignments and grade sheets will come tomorrow. Please do remember this question. Uh, Google Classroom and Moodle. Google Classroom is said to be, now my words are based on my use. Please remember, I'm not like uh, asking you to believe something that I have not done. I have used Google Classroom. You, uh, Dr. A. Mohan Babu, this is, answer is for you. Google Classroom, from my side, I would say it is just about staying in a, one room and Moodle is being in the sky. That is the analogy that I can give. Google Classroom is a content management system to me. After using, I realized, and Moodle is a learning management system. In the Google Classroom, I did not have those freedoms that I enjoy with Moodle. And Google Classroom is a thing where you bring things from other applications. Moodle is a thing which is itself self-sufficient. Individuals can do HODIT. We can have our individual Moodle account, individual Moodle course. You can make a course of seven days now or for one unit. You can ask anyone to enroll. Moodle is a free, 100% free software. You pay only for the hosting. Like you have bought some cloud storage somewhere. You pay only for it. This software is designed free of cost. Uh, yes, test assignments can be done. Up to free 50 users, Dr. Pranavan, are only for Moodle Cloud. Genomio gives 250 users. Uh, there is a limit of storage. On Moodle Cloud or Genomio, the limit is only for storage because we are not the owner of the cloud storage. So that is why this is there. The storage limit is always there. Like if you buy a website hosting, you say 10 GB, you say 100 GB, you say 1000 GB, it is always there. So that thing is going to remain. Now, is there any question now? Or I'll now, I guess you have allowed me to move. Now, Genomio. I'll open the Genomio portal, will make an account and you will see that I have made an account. Just a second, Genomio is open. I'll share the window. The form is closed, screencastify closed. Uh, I feel that you people have got the things about who developed Moodle. Dr. Bram Matthew, it's the people who want to like think this came in, I guess it came in 2002 or somewhere like there are people screen is being shown this, this knowledge about Google's development, the company or not the company, which owns it. I'll bring to you. I'm just searching for the tab for this thing. Chat is off and I'm going to share the screen with you. Present now. Now the screen is coming, entire screen and Genomio. Now, can you see this site, ma'am, Genomio? Yes, ma'am. So what I'm doing is now when I have 
like genomeo.com i request you not to attempt not to attempt like uh, searching on google and then make an account on it i'll show you first and then you will be doing it now if you see this and you see that there is a url thing here there is an email thing and there is a language thing and there is a i have read and agree with your terms and conditions now this is about creating a site you understand the word site site is a website and the domain that we are using where it is going to like suppose we are going to take it on rent free of cost so genomio is the main building where we are going to place our site so our site is we suppose i make it cit pt batch p i'm making this at the rate means dot genomio dot com cit vt batch 3 genomio dot com email p a r v w e n underscore kumar at the rate m m u m u l l a n a dot o r g now if you can see this i have entered my email id where a verification email and an automatically created password will be reaching me i agree till here if there is any clarification required i guess no now fine i have i have entered a possible web address but this dot genomeo.com will be there because it's genomeo which is giving me the space i have just entered it here suppose i make it vir virtual teaching see everyone i have said virtual teaching v i r t u a l t e a c h i n g because the workshop is titled this virtual teaching and i say create site now see what is there can you see uh, ma'am can you see this thing and help me out in reading this this site name is this this is already being used yes now so we'll go with cit vt b a t c h 3 it means we need to create a unique one the same way you create a gmail id now all these things have been filled by me it's a request to everyone to keep your eyes on it url we have selected email id we have entered correctly because your password will, will be coming here your username will be lending here and i say create a site so let's see what comes now it says your site is being created within a few minutes you will receive an email with login details if you do not receive it please check your spam folder now this is the email box i'm going to refresh it And once I have refreshed it, I may see that the people have sent me something. Not yet. They say within a few minutes they will be sending. The email ID I have used is on my organization's email ID. You can choose your Gmail ID also. There is no problem in that. A contact email ID is required to which the people can send the things. They are going to send me a password. Later on also, I can reset the password once I have activated the account. So, let me. Okay, this they suggested spam check. Am I going to see it in the spam? Yes, no any guess no so it is going to come to this only i'm waiting for that to come they said it will take a few minutes we are working on creating a site your site is being created please check the spam folder as well i wish it comes soon Okay, uh, before like uh, this 34 turns into 35, I can see that, uh, see, 
the terms of service of Genomio, Genomio is the platform we are using to make our Moodle site. Moodle site we are creating. The platform is Moodle and we are creating a website which is an LMS site that way. Now suppose, see, we are creating a college, we are creating a home, we are creating a church, we are creating a temple. These are the things like we are creating a masjid house, we are creating these things, we are creating a hospital. So we are creating it and the land is given to us by Genomio. Now, before like I get that confirmation, we uh, uh, please remember one thing, if you people are logged out automatically, that might happen because of speed. So kindly manage it. The TLC team is going to assist you well. Terms of service are we do not sell your data to anyone we do not send any unsolicited email also so you you can request the deletion of your site at any time you can tell them that kindly delete my website i'm not going to use it anymore now as some people were asking like it also says that we are not very strict in applying limits on the number of users or courses but keep in mind our sources resources are limited we are not google everyone See, we all are not the richest people in the world. We all have a limitation. The same way Genomio, which is doing this service to us, it says that we are not Google. And uh, sir, see, teachers, please do not abuse our service. This It means that if they are giving me space, I should not be uploading things to them that I'm not using it. And that is why I say this is about uh, collaboration. This is about understanding the the... the like we want our students to understand us. The same way, those who are offering us these open sources, they also want us to be sincere in it. Now, this is the most important thing here. As a guideline, as guideline, we can say that our basic shared hosting is sized to serve sites with less than, less than everyone. 1,000 active users per month. No more than 100 concurrent users at most 100 courses and up to 10 gb of disk space so we can use 10 gb here we can have 1000 users per month on your site and no more than 100 concurrent here now these figures are too small for you please contact us if you want to be want an increase here you can tell them they'll try to help you out and increase certain things you cannot sell you our hosting please you can sell you can sell the access to your own courses you can make a course in genomio sell your course but you cannot but you can not sell the hosting like i cannot sell you say everyone give me 100 rupees i'll host your course on genomio and because you people are not aware of, suppose you were not aware of it, you'll pay me 100 rupees and I send you something and then you say, oh, good, I got it in 100 rupees. So that thing should not be done. And then certain things, they they ask you to do this. They, they take permission from you to display some advertisements so that they can earn some money because they are offering it for free. Moodle Cloud is... 200 MB, 50 user, they do not display any advertisement. Genomio gives us freedom to use 10 GB and 1000 users. So it displays some advertisements. So these are certain things which are there. I'm just waiting for that email to land. It says something is not right. Mm -hmm. something that I do not understand why that email has not come I'll try to refresh it and give a try to another email because they haven't specified anything about using a gmail id or something the spam doesn't have anything it doesn't have anything okay c i t v t b a t c h email id i'll use the gmail one now in red and c mm -hmm. 
uh, ma'am if there is any query in the chat box or any something like i can answer yes someone says that i have not given the gmail id so that might be a reason sir that might be a reason because the earlier course that i have made is through a gmail id so i wish that now it works so that limitation can be like exposed to us they did not mention that thing not here now pray for the email delivery even not received here spam it is just about receiving the email is going to bring you three things number 1 the same web address of the course now the email hasn't reached even here the web address of the course i'll show you what kind of email comes i'll just show you is that is going to happen if i am not getting it i'm not sure why like this is happening uh that email has not come here ma'am so everyone if you allow me this is the email this is the email if you can see it came from genomio as a as the welcome email it says hello it says your modal site is https at this is colon then the programming slash is that way virtual teaching dot genomio dot com this is what i made and the one like uh, that i'm awaiting the creation hasn't reached me yet so if it reaches it will be coming with the same so it was cit vt batch 3 dot genomio dot com so this is virtual teaching dot genomio dot com if you allow me i can move ahead this is the admin username is admin and this is the password they people have sent me if you can see this this is the password this is this i have changed the password after that and this is the email this is exactly the email which is supposed to come to us when the people send it for some reason i'm not sure why we have tried both it hasn't reached so i'm moving to what i'll do is this is the email if you see i copy this address or i click i'll rather than i'll go to copy the link address because the default browser will be microsoft edge i'll paste it see the address is virtual teaching dot genomio dot com yours can be physics smt dot genomio it can be some other thing you can name it the way you want to name it and then you can share the same name with the students so if i have typed this virtual teaching dot genomio dot com it could have been the way we made it it could have been what it could have been cit vt batch three dot genomio dot com that was just an example once that is created and you receive this kind of email from them this is the email that you will be getting from them and once you get this email first step was going to the genomio homepage i'll uh, rewind it because some people might have missed if so the final things this is the genomio dot com you write a site name here between 2 to 32 lower case letters or numbers no spaces no symbols no accents the email id and this once this is done you receive an email like this which gets you the username and the password and a link to your site you copy the link or click on it and it opens this way the virtual teaching dot genomio dot com then you go after that thing you go to the login thing you click on login the password was resetted
have you ever have you seen that thing it was login as a guest if you noted there was a thing on the right hand side of it log in as a guest so when you log in as a guest and that has been enabled by the now this is the home page this is the ad now you are the admin user if you have enabled it in the through the site administration that people can log in as a guest also they can not participate in the assessments they cannot participate in assessment if the people have logged in so please do remember this thing if the people have logged in as a guest they cannot participate they can see the contents and if you have opened the contents for them they can of course see but those who want to do this course do the assignments do do get the grading they have to log in and how you create the users all these things we are going to do now this is the home page you are the admin user here you click and you see what are the options the options are dashboard profile grades messages preferences that means settings that way log out and switch role to when i say switch role to it is like on your facebook some of you have seen that you can see your account the way others see it like see it as others so you can see it as it is shown to other people because you can see everything but you want to see if you have done some settings some privacy settings how it looks to others you can check it so if i want to switch my role to something now these are the things i want to see what a guest can see what a student can see what a non editing teacher teacher course creator and manager it means there is a course admin who is called manager there is a course creator who has got some rights there is a teacher the teacher might not be course admin like you create a course and you add me as a teacher i have got teacher rights only i cannot change i cannot add students i cannot remove them i may be able to grade them there is some non editing teacher who can just teach nothing else there is a student there is a guest authenticated user and some authenticated users on the front page these are the things you can switch your role to but we are keeping ourselves to the admin at present so that we can see how admins work now this is the interface this is site administration this is the advertisement that we have to bear with them now admin user i go here if you see i have reached the admin user icon i click on profile in the profile these are the things my email id certain miscellaneous things certain reports my last login activity first access was 17th of april and today the access was this time the time zone has to be corrected also now edit profile edit profile you can change the username you can change your password here you can change because you are the admin students cannot change they have to do the same exercise we do with uh, gmail or other email providers reset the password first name is admin second is user let's name it p i r virtual p e a c h i n g teaching the email id remains the same allow everyone to see my address i'll say fine i'll say for me i'll put it as my place kurukshetra country goes as uh, india and the server time zone help me find out kolkata uh, asia okay i'll start with asia from here i hope the people have put kolkata or delhi here is kolkata now then this is the description this is a vt course platform i've given some description um i can give a picture here of the user now i click here i'll go to upload file i go to choose file i'll go to some picture of mine suppose i go to this one here it is i can i can put something here i can avoid this is now these are the licenses and i want you people to look at this thing in advance 
creative commons public domain so i'm putting my image in public domain or it's all copyright reserved or other now share alike no commercial share alike nc then nc and nd and no derives we'll talk about it in brief i'll say creative commons i don't mind if you use my image now the image is going to appear here but we haven't yet saved it update the profile I have updated the profile and you'll see what changes are going to come here. See virtual teaching and the photograph has come. This is my dash. This is my dashboard. Now, if you see now, I'll click here again, profile grades, messages, preferences, logouts, which role to profile was the first thing to be talked about. I can click on dashboard if you see and dashboard is this. The button is here also on the left hand side to see this is the dashboard. Now there are no courses. If you can see private files means files in advance uploaded in the portal. No one online user for the last 15 minutes and the user is virtual teaching. You can see this. The calendar is there. If you feel that this page should be customized, this is your home page, dear teachers, virtual teaching dot dashboard is there. This is dashboard. Now I can customize it. Now what is customized? I want that I should be able to see the calendar where here so I can take the calendar on the top I my calendar goes here I'll say this is a bit imbalanced so what I'll do I'll bring the online user block on another side online users go here learning plans and course overview I'll say course overview should be on the top this is fine so stop customizing the page this is home page which is visible to you only not to the students please remember this is customized customized page i clicked i clicked here it allows me to do the necessary editings i can go to defaults anytime so i'll stop customizing this page for me we'll move on to site administration before that this is calendar these are private files in the private files i can keep something saved in advance i can maximum size of new files uh, there was one teacher who was asking about the upload maximum size for new files is unlimited this is genomio in the moodle cloud one there is a limitation and if you are going to host it on your own college domain or your website domain you can set this limit you can set this limit files i can save some files in advance for example i can like uh, keep some files here and then like i'm putting resume sample i'm putting resume components okay i'll put resume components as a file save as resume components creative commons i don't mind people use it author is virtual teaching i'll say yes I can change the author here also if you write the author it means you are giving them acknowledgements now I have saved the changes this file is saved on my server I do not need to upload it I can simply attach it whenever it is required we are 10 minutes to T so we'll be we still have time so don't worry private files I have uploaded one but I'm clicking on dashboard I'm opening the chat now the chat says Mm, don't try at the same time I say don't try reason being let's do one thing at a time do try it but see 11 30 to 11 45 I guess the tea time is uh, yes 11 30 to 11 45 is the tea time I'll be giving you 10 extra minutes to make your site get the email please remember the whole world is on internet now and half of the world which is in education is using certain things like LMSs and the things which are free and made by people they are good uh, okay this guest thing I'll try uh, certain people email has not come it didn't come to me also we'll check it out same email ID we can create number of accounts dr. Joseph it's an observation or a question how many courses can be conducted per ID sir if you make a site like I made virtual teaching dot genomio they say unlimited courses 
but after all like how many courses you are going to conduct we are not making a portal like edx or swayam we are making we might be on making it a 10 course or a 15 course at best and when one course is done you update it and make it a new one because when no no one is taking so we won't like do this uh, so the password and these things they take time don't worry they take time it didn't come to me within 10 minutes so created 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 so okay i'll spotlight thing you want me to change now i have been presenting things to you now i didn't get that spotlight you say suggestion i would request if you can help me uh, see now if you can see this congratulations everyone we have got it CITVT batch 3 genomio.com has come to my official email ID. This is the password. This is the admin. Now, if you people want me to like prove this thing to you also. Now, admin is this. I have copied the password. First, I will copy the address. I'm going to an incognito window so that nothing happens to the previously opened thing uh, uh, ma'am this is visible i guess cit badge 3 genomio.com yes, yes ma'am so this is what we were creating so that you don't you do not doubt anything that the virtual teaching was created on 17th and i was fortunate that before that no one else uh, had created this now see this is CITVT batch 3 genomio.com and these are the things it's almost not almost it is exactly the same that we had seen in virtual teaching so from now on i'll be using the virtual teaching one because the title also justifies something for all of us and that is easy to remember but still like the world has not thought of all the creative titles you can make things like this i'm closing it and bringing you to genomio believing that that is what we are doing so here is the genomio dash dashboard i'm going to site administration and this is what you'll be going doing during the tea break or the lemon you say lime water or something it's not that tea break that we used to have where we'll move out of the hall and everybody will be gathering around the resource person or the resource person will be moving on to someone and ask something. Now, this is site administration. Site administration has come from here. This is the home page. You see, what are the options? Users, courses, grades, plugins, appearance, server, reports, development we are working on the first two only for this you say thing we are working on users and working on courses so you want to create the users first or the courses first chat post it in the chat you want users first or the courses first let me see for fun you want chat you want uh, course <laughs> okay fine you got in the trap how can you have users uh, like without making a sweet item you are asking people to buy it so first let's make the course so you have got a reply thank you prashottam kumar ji don't worry we are with you you will be getting the email don't worry i got it when all of you were there with me so you everybody was with me now everybody is with you so you will be getting the email now here we are uh, can you see courses now in the courses in the courses courses users i'm not creating users first i'll create the course we'll create the users later now in the courses manage courses and categories add a category suppose i'll add a category first because there can be a category of physics category of chemistry category of mathematics now the parent category is on the top category name i'll say at tech so this is the category everyone at tech category number i'll say one what is category number is like just to match it 
categories so there are two categories here one is miscellaneous which is by default it remains at tech i have created and the serial number is 1 i have given so what i'll do i'll hide the miscellaneous because i'm not going to put any courses here after all i i know what i am teaching so it is hidden it will not show on the home page now under this category let me create a course can you see this i can create a course here but suppose you created a category and then you went to t so it means you come back to the dashboard and after that you come back and you say oh there is no course but see online users are one categories we haven't got here now i'll go to site administration again i'll go to site administration again i'm not clicking the block editings on because i can still access i click on courses i say manage courses and categories add a category restore a course course default setting course request upload courses i am clicking on manage courses and categories i clicked on manage courses and categories because i created a category so now i have got something to click on course category and management i create here create a new course now this is what you people are going to think add a new course what i do course full name v i r virtual teaching training to teachers course short name pt for teachers why would i say two i'll say four i'm no one to instruct you collectively you people know better than i do and i'm on your team now this is the option of selecting the category you see this is miscellaneous but see we have created add tech in advance so we don't need to change it later add tech now course visibility show or hide now see options hide and show i'll say hide because we have not made anything so i'll hide it course start date this is 20th so let's start it from 22nd april 00 and the course end date i'll say disable it is enabled i'll say disable if i want to make it a one week so i'll make it 29th april enabled course id number we can put it as 1 2 3 whatever you want you can give the description of the course here like this course is to use you all to vt and the funda fundamentals of moodle till here i guess things are clear this is 11:30 tea time you can drop your questions in the chat box we have reached here i'm um, uh, ma'am i'm stopping here 11:45 we can start again this page will still remain yes, open yes sir and uh, i request everyone not to leave the session they ensure that video and audio is 100% mute and if you can like you can guide them further 